Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, and we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence, deacon and martyr. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We know sacrifice is such a big part of the church. Parents sacrifice every day for their children. So as you begin, I'd like to just think about those people that have sacrificed for us. For the times we took people for granted, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We glorify God as we pray, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, the giver of love for you, for that which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, let the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Bless the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affair with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be an everlasting remembrance. Plus the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Plus the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Plus the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and wherever I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. I remember as a seminarian in Maryland, um, there was a, I was stationed in a parish on the weekends, and um, I got to know some of the people, and uh, some of the kids, there was this girls volleyball team, they were, they were incredible. And so every chance I got, I went to see some of their games. And I remember there was one particular girl, her name was Lori. Lori was, she wasn't really tall, but she was very athletic and she was very good. She wasn't someone who scored a lot of points, but she was someone who was very good at setting the ball up for other girls to spike. And the two girls that were really, really the top scorers, one's name was Mary, the other's name was Jane. 
And of course, when it came to all the articles in the paper, it was always Jane and Mary. It was always Mary and Jane. And they were the leading scorers. As a matter of fact, I believe, if I remember correctly, when the season was over, they were like 24 and 2. And these two girls, both Jane and Mary, were like the stars of the team. Everybody gathered around them. Everybody wanted to be with them because they were incredible, incredible players. But was really neat, I got to go to the banquet at the end of the year. And at the end of the year, the banquet, the coach got up and he announced the most valuable player. It wasn't Jane and it wasn't Mary. It was Lori. Lori, who didn't score a lot of points, but who set the ball up for them so that they could. And so everybody in the place went absolutely wild. Lori never expected that kind of recognition, but it was nice. So I'd like us to remember there are so many people, I tell you, just in church work that are behind the scenes doing so many things day in and day out, and they don't do it to be seen, but they set things up so that things, the church can function successfully, and it does because of them. God bless. Let us now offer these petitions. We may truly appreciate the things we so often take for granted in life, we pray. For those who have taught us how to love and how to forgive, we pray. For those who have sacrificed for us, whether they be living with us here on earth or with God in heaven, we pray. God of Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Receive the favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on this feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they may become for us a help for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Lawrence, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Steve Sokatch and General Jerome and Diane O'Malley, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. Let's offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing continue to guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone.